Hello everyone, welcome to Taxi Life, a city driving simulator that takes place in Barcelona. This game has mostly negative reviews, so let's see what that's all about. Uh, we need to be an old person. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Our company name will be Fava Cabo. Let's look at our company logo here, options. I like the, I like that, because it means that we're gonna go fast. Okay, so they basically throw you in here to get used to the game by doing a small tutorial, and I've got most of the basics down on the car. Uh, there are different camera views that you can do, and we have a radial menu that we can open up and go through the different features of the car which is actually really slick. I do like how they did that. So I'm using a controller and it works by just rotating around and the world goes into slow-mo whenever you do this and you press in on the right stick to roll the window down or whatever you want to do. It's kind of sensitive, so it can be a little difficult there. AC, lights, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Another cool thing I saw was that we have a backup camera option. Turn that on there. And then if we turn the radial menu off, you can see we can see behind us there. Very cool. We also have quick look features by just holding down the left bumper here to look, quickly look behind you, in front of you, and stuff like that. I do like that. So let's do the exam and see if we fail. Try to be in the middle of the line. Don't cross it. Yeah, I know. I know how to drive a car. Thank you very much. There we go. I mean, that's pretty simple. We didn't hit any cones or anything like that, and we're very good to go. Very good. Park in the marked okay. space to start the next stage. We're ready for the next Let's stage. Let's practice parallel parking. Oh, parallel parking. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Oh, we know how to Here parallel park. Steps. I know how to parallel park. Turn Thank you very much. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move. Oh, no. You crossed the line. Try again. What? That was perfect. Are you nuts? All right, let's parallel point. park. Let's Here make them the happy. You crossed Turn the line. The we don't like that you crossed the line. Position and move forward. Okay. Very good. There we go. Park Decent. in the marked space. Easier in the outside the view. Stage. For sure. All right, cool. Go to the next stage. Outside view, I think, is going to be the win. Let's practice perpendicular reverse oh, parking. reverse parking. Easy. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Don't hit the cones. Here are the steps. They don't like that. Turn the wheels to the maximum there you left. Go. Very nice. Yep. Park in the marked space to start the next stage. All right, we had to cut across the lot to get over here to the next stop. Let's practice making a U-turn okay. in three moves. Follow these steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move forward slowly. Remember to stop before the car leaves the marked space. Yeah, we know. We're turn doing a U-turn. Turn the wheels to the maximum right position and move backwards slow. Very good. You passed the first part of the exam. You are ready to take a test drive through Barcelona. Before you hit the city streets, you must pick up a client and safely deliver them to their intended destination. I think we can do that. Are you ready to begin? Yep, we're ready to begin. Let's go. Let's go. Where are they at? Open the map by pressing okay. the map button. Let's open the map this up. This is where you can find available jobs. This is the patience bar, and it will gradually decrease over time. Now you must drive to pick up the client. Follow the GPS route you can see on the mini map right, GPS to the route is point and park in the marked space. All right, so we got that going. We're gonna go pick up our first person. Let's do this thing. I gotta say, it's using the Unreal Engine and I'm pretty happy with the graphics, which is pretty nice to see. Uh, and the city seems to be bustling pretty good. We use some indicators here. I'm gonna use my outside view so we can see a little bit more of what's going on here. We gotta. We're in the crosswalk, probably a bad thing there, and we have a red light. Yeah, it's a beautiful looking game, that is for certain. There's the green there, we're gonna go take the roundabout here, and we have more traffic this way. We need to go into the right, so we have a green light here. I'm gonna indicate to get out of the roundabout as well, watching our traffic here. We don't wanna get in trouble right out of the gate, but we are in Barcelona, so let's go ahead and just kinda drive like we are, uh, all the way over here to the right. There you go. If you've taken a taxi in this city, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, hello. Things like in a manual transmission. That's pretty cool. It's rolling like over and over again on me. Oh, we just got absolutely destroyed by a car. Holy crap, dude. That was a little intense. Uh, do we change information? No, they don't seem to care at all. So we're just going to continue our lives as well and pick up our first person. Now, I don't know if we're going to get docked points because they just smashed into our car. Um, but we will soon find out. And we are right behind this cop. All right. Let's pick up our first person and see what this is all about. All right. Right here, right? Happy here? Oh, there they are. Hey, a fellow Q-tip. Look at that. 
How you doing today, now sir? Now you know where to go. Drive to the destination point and remember go. to control the patient's bar. Occasionally, a client may initiate a conversation, and depending on the circumstances, you may choose to engage or disregard them. Okay. Keep in mind that participating in the conversation could potentially boost your tips, XP points, and even improve your current patience level. Oh, we missed our turn. Sorry. I was too busy trying to beat that uh, cop off the line there. We're going to turn around. Oh, we can't make a left here? Okay. Well, we're just taking a little uh, scenic route here today. There we go. They say that you can only do 50 kilometers an hour here on the streets. Uh, we can make a left here, though, and we're going to follow this guy. We're just taking the scenic route. Don't worry about us at all. There we go. Just like that. Sweet. Okay, I'm liking this so far. This is pretty darn cool. Besides the car smashing into us. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Let's get in this lane over here. But yeah, I've uh, been to this city before and taken a taxi. Oh, we need to get in the left lane. Uh, was an experience. Let's just say that. And we're not even doing it justice. So 280 meters away from dropping them off. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic. You know what the graphics kind of remind me of? Uh, police simulator. It's got that kind of look, you know? You know what? Let's get around this guy. Nope. Just kidding. Don't have time to do that. A lot of parked vehicles here. When I was in this wonderful city, I did notice that uh, there was so many of these mopeds. It was a swarm of mopeds every turn you went. And you're going right. I'm going straight. Perfect. This person's not talking to us at all. They're just chilling in the back. Like, okay. What about me? All right. We have made it. There you go. Have a nice day. Thanks for uh, Very driving good. with us here at Fava Cabo. You have completed your Fava first Cabo. job and passed the exam. Congratulations. As you can see, you've earned your first money and XP Yes, points. we did. The money can be used to refuel and clean your car or even buy a new one. Okay. You can use XP points to develop your character. Nice. Now let's spend some money. See the gas station? Yep. Go there and refuel the car. All right. Refuel the car. So there is refueling. Professional driver's license. I don't know about all that, but <laughs> uh, let's continue here. And welcome to Taxi Life. Thank you. Oh, we have a parking brake on. B is the parking brake. There we go. Come over here and fuel this thing up. I assume it's like this, but I don't know. All right. We're in the spot. Oh, it has a prompt. Okay. Press A to enter the gas station panel. If we can just... Oh, we have to put the parking brake on. That's what we have to do so we don't roll. There we go. Barca gas. Or Barca gas. We got... Uh, welcome to the gas station. Use it to refuel your car. Refuel with A. Okay. That seems... Or, or fill it up. One of the two. So, fill it up. Very good. You can use the charger for electric cars and car washes in a similar way. Let's go to the garage. Let's start the car again. Remove the parking brake and out we go. I'm not sure where the garage is, but let's have a look at the map. The garage is probably over here. Garages, yep. And there's one over here as well. Here's the map though. It's pretty big. I wonder if we have to unlock the rest of it. If this is just in the very beginning, I don't know. So looking in the settings, we have gearbox modes, arcade or semi-arcade or simulation, which is really cool. Difficulty levels on normal. So you can adjust all of this stuff, which is really nice to see. Um, I was seeing if there was anything in system settings where I can change the FOV that we have here of the car. It doesn't seem to be the case here from what I am looking at. So I would like to see a FOV menu eventually. That'd be really cool. There we go. We're moving here now. We're headed to the garage, but I want to go to the outside view and just kind of take in the city. And I'm liking it, man. They're hustling and bustling today. We'll do 50, and that's what they want us to do. Oh, that the green. Can't complain with that. We also have this dash cam view, which is really nice. You kind of want that dash cam look. Oh, we're going to get in the left lane here because we're going to be turning left. Because you can't make it right there. No, 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 no. All right. Hello. What are you doing, dude? They're just sitting there. Look at that van. It's a nice van. 
All right. Um, you know what? You could do this because this is what they would do in real life. <laughs> Everybody's honking the horns and stuff. Oh my gosh. It's just like being there. It's just like being there. All right. We're going up this way. The garage is here on the right. So I think we have made it to the garage. Yep. Right here is where they want us to go. Can you hit people? I wonder if you can. They turned around. They didn't want to mess with around with me at all. Okay. Enter the garage. Welcome to the garage. This is where you can service your vehicle, purchase and sell cars or components and personalize and enhance your ride. I do like that we can sell cars. That's really cool. You can repair the car. Okay, gotcha. Fantastic. And refuel re and charge here as well. All right, nice. So here's 99% there. That's the cleanliness of the car, it looks like. Uh, more repair costs there. So we need to look and see what else we can do. Here you can view both your current cars and those available for purchase. Okay, gotcha. Um, so it's locked, it looks like, so we can't really use that. Um, but here's the different cars. We got the one that we used during the uh, exam. Ooh, a van. That's cool looking. And like a AMG or something there. It looks like a BMW almost. Kind of AMG front, BMW back. So our next purchase will be around probably 5000 and we have 2988. Here are the parts we can get. We've got uh engine. Uh you can adjust the engine by clicking in here, see? You can change up to a premium. You can change the brake discs as well by bringing those up and tires. Look at that. It's all locked so we can't do anything gearbox. Oh, we can go to a manual transmission for 1000 bucks. Actually, that's really cool. Let's go ahead and buy that. They want us to, you know, spend some money. Um inside we can change cabin details here upholstery oh nice i like what we already had um you can change out the gear stick <laughs> okay and then you can put little little accessories bobbleheads and stuff nice we'll get ourselves a little doggy that works for me and what else do we have here that we can change up the outside of the vehicle so we can change the color of it oh nice so i can have a black car Ooh, i do like that it's only 50 bucks so yep we bought that you got underglow Okay, interesting. Uh, then we have the taxi sign itself you can change out. Oh, man, that is nice. I like that one a lot better there. Eventually, we'll get there. That is uh, for sure. Uh, spoilers we can put on the car. So there's customization on the car you can do. Uh, we'll put that on there. It's only 100 bucks. And then wheels we can change out as well. I kind of like the black on black look that we have. Finally, we have resting here. So you can do partial rest or an hour and all that stuff. So you want to advance time you can uh we can go into the driver player progression screen here and it looks like it does have a skill tree so economic driver uh you have proficiency maintenance law obedience and company drivers cost less money so we can get drivers eventually which is really cool law obedience uh one ticket per day is canceled i do like the sound of that let's go ahead and use that and buy the perk there we go so we can see that's that and then we have statistics right here um, bought cars and all that stuff. I've seen if there's anything about the crash that just happened a bit ago, but I don't see anything there. So that's kind of good. All right, let's get out of the garage. So let's start the engine on the car and get this thing rolling. I don't know how to change our, oh, we have the <laughs> parking brake on like an idiot. That car looks nice. All blacked out like that. I do like that. It looks like it rained here. Doesn't it kind of looks like it did. All right. Well, now we know what we can do. We can just literally open up the map and, and, and get some jobs rolling here. So we have a bunch of people around here looking for a ride. I don't know what the question mark is, but an interesting piece of street art. You know what? We'll go to this person right over here. I think that's the task we're going to take. So let's go pick them up. Oh, yeah. Everybody is just honking their horns right now. We're going to get around this car here because I don't know what they're doing. It's a green light and they're being an idiot. So that's fine around this person here to the right now there was an option to turn on your your uh wipers but it doesn't look like it's raining anymore it's just it looks like it did while we were in the garage i gotta say the driving experience on the controller is pretty darn good the only mishaps we've had so far is that one car that hit us um but apart from that the city seems to be functioning pretty decently with ai um but if you're familiar with like police simulator uh, the AI is very similar to that, and it's kind of predictable um, as well. The car engine sounds are not very good, I will tell you that. Um, but the sounds of the 
the road and running over like uh, potholes and stuff like that. It's definitely there and it's kind of cool. All right, where are they at? Up here on the left? All right, we're just gonna pull up here. Do they want us to park? I think they do want us to park. Good thing we took all that training, right? All right, I think we would put our four ways on in this situation, but I'm okay with that. We're just gonna back in this way like that. Didn't even use a backup camera. Look at that. Oh, did they want us to go in straight? I think they want us to pull in the other way. So we're going to do that. I see a car here. Don't mind me, dude. I'm just trying to get into this little parking space, you know? Thank you for giving me so much room to do it. We appreciate that. All right. I think this is what they want. Yep. That's what they wanted. We even hit the curb. Give them that authentic taxi experience. All right, where are we going? Behind us? Oh, we have two of you. Well, hello today. I don't know how we're getting out of here, but we're going to go probably do a U-turn. Since we took our, you know, driver's course on how to do that, we're going to do exactly that. Back in this way. Just don't hit any cars, and we'll get on our way. How we doing? Nobody's talking. I thought it was going to be kind of like bus simulator where they would just talk to you, but it doesn't seem to be the case here. All right, a lot of people in track suits here from what I can see. Hey, get out of the road, you dummies. Wow. Well, that's like Bus Simulator 2, where they just kind of mosey across the road and take their time. I know they have right away. Don't at me about the right away stuff. I know. Oh, we're going to make this light. We got it. We got it all day. So, Ava, y'all ha having a good day? You live here? You visiting? Thanks for the conversation. Appreciate it. Again, we can see that patience bar right there at the bottom of the GPS. And it's still very wet roads as of right now with no rain, which is kind of interesting. Oh, check that out. A little monument or something here at the end of the road. The hotel I stayed at was on the west side. Or no, yeah, the, the southeast side of town. This actually looks a little familiar to me. These structures right here. Are we stopping here for the pedestrians, I think? I think so. We're good. All right, 400 meters here. Nobody is talking to us at all on this trip. It's like an Uber drive here. And I can use my left bumper and then press the, uh, you know, like that to see the lights. I like that. The quick look stuff is very nice. Oh, there's three of you. I just, did you ever get out of my car? That's worrying. Just a tad. All right. Hold on to your butts. Okay. The patience bar seems to be okay, even though we were speeding right there. So that's not affected. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of using my parking brake when I come to a stop now. That seems to help with the car rolling around on us. Um, up here on the left. Yeah, we have a little bit ooh, green light again. Nice. I think we're gonna have to take a roundabout. It looks like that'll be the case. I'm watching for people in the walkway. And they're turning left in that right lane. That's interesting. Can you do that? I, I suppose we can do both. It's a double turn lane. It's going to kind of follow the traffic here. First day on the job. Don't mind me. First day. Oh, slamming brakes, slamming brakes. We're good. What are, you, what are you doing, dummy? Holy crap, man. Thank you for your patience. We appreciate you. Uh, we're going to make a left up here, it looks like. And take this road down is where they're going. Yeah, I would like to have the ability to change that FOV for sure. Just to zoom out a little. Maybe I can do it with the mouse wheel. No, nope, doesn't look like that is the case. I thought that would be something that we could do, but uh, nope, not today. All right, left here. It's 30 through here. The handling of the car is not bad. Based on some of... Well, I saw some... A little bit of a frame drop right there, but... Apart from that, I mean, some people said that the driving was like really bad and stuff like that. I haven't had that problem. It's been pretty, pretty solid for me. Thank you. Y'all have a good day now. Success. Diego Sala. Difficulty easy. Length medium. We can take a task nearby. That's cool. So you just go to the next one. All right, let's check the back. Nobody's in my car, so that's good. Um, I can also do, you can see his face there. That's cool. And there's the backup camera. So left bumper and then down the D-pad does all of that. Um, we need to get out of here as soon as that turns green. That person is walking on their heads. 
There you go. Lovely. So we need to go out of here. So it's a red light, then a stop sign, then a far left, and then a U-turn, it looks like, is what we got to do here. It's going to get interesting, that's for certain. Let's see. Let's roll the windows down so we can see what that is like. Um, yep, just click it, right? Right click. Yep, there it goes. It's going down there. We're going to roll all our windows down here, and then we'll see if they uh, get upset at us. And green light, baby, here we go. Then we have a stop sign here. That's good. We're getting the left lane here. Well, the single lane that we have. And they say we can make a U-turn right here. So this is wild. No cars coming. We're good. Use it up a little bit. Oh, they're over there. Is that person? Okay, no, I see them there. All right. Well, that's not too bad. We just got to make another U-turn to get in that spot. And there's a couple people sitting there waiting for us. All right, traffic's starting to move now. So we were in traffic for a little bit there. I don't know if that's going to affect our time as we uh, haven't even picked them up yet. So we'll see if that does. But the traffic is pretty abundant here. Everybody's honking the horn right now. Somebody's upset at somebody up there. They're not going, but I don't think they can because it's just backed up all the way on that side. I got to say, having the windows down, I don't notice a difference in the sound like at all it still seems like we're still inside the car all right we're finally moving here they're blocking the crosswalk and we just need to get over there eventually so you can use a wheel if you would like there are a few wheels that are supported um but it seems like a lot of them are not and a lot of people that are negatively reviewing the game it seems to be control related issues from what i have seen that and the ai being bad I'm okay with the AI though. It's it's not that bad. I, I mean, I played a lot of games where the AI is absolutely atrocious and it seems like they know what they're doing to a certain extent. I do like the sound of the cars whizzing by you too. That's a, a nice touch. But this uh, forever wet road, I'm not sure about that. Unless, you know, I just missed all of the rain. Can we even go in that lane over there? Let's do something illegal here. Don't mind me. We're just going in a bike lane to pick up somebody. I feel like somebody would do this in the real world. I think a real cabbie would do this. So we're going to do it ourselves. What's up, people? Ooh, three of them. Occupy times three. Hi. Oh, hello there. We have a talker. Hi. Where are you guys going up here? All right. We just need to get over. Um, We're in the bike lane. Oh, they're going to let me over. Okay. Well, the AI is nice. They let you in line by using your blinker. That's pretty cool. All right, we have to make another U-turn and head back the other way in town. Now, eventually, we'll learn the map and we'll be even more efficient. Okay, they're waiting for them, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's get in the right lane over here. And on we go. Yeah, it seems like the traffic was just backed up for that U-turn, which makes sense. <laughs> I knew they were turning, so that's why I didn't mind cutting over like that. Saved us some time, that's for certain. Oh, we got a person walking in the crosswalk. And another one, you gonna do it too? You're probably gonna do it, aren't you? Oh, look at that, I honked at them and they crossed. Like I was being nice and letting them go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I wish that we had more chatter from the people. How's your oh. day going? Oh, nice. Oh, you mean mean, great, complain? It's going great, how about you? It's going great. My day has been very nice so far. Thank you for asking. Okay, wonderful. So, what are you up to today? Oh, I'll probably just relax for the rest of the day. Oh, nice. I hope your day continues to go well. It's an interesting conversation. I don't know about that. I don't know if it was interesting, but... <laughs> Slow down for the, the bumps. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Slow down here. And it, it drives very well on a gamepad. I'm using a Thrustmaster eSwap Pro, and it really does a great job. There's another person here that needs a ride, but hey, you know what? There's only one of us in the area right now. It'd be cool to see some other cabbies out and about. I haven't seen any of them yet. Yeah, the wet roads throw are throwing me off a little bit here. We're going to get in this lane here. I know we're going fast, but it's for a reason. Okay, you can barely see the lines. We'll get over this way. It's green. We're good get all the way over here because I have a feeling they're going to try to do that to us where they're like oh by the way I need you to turn here so I'd rather be prepared for it oh my god 
That was realistic. <laughs> that was realistic. Patience is all the way up. They're happy we had a conversation with them. But that's funny. You can uh, be rude to the people. I hear a siren. It's a fake siren, though, I think. What's that over there? Is that a garage? Looks like it might be a garage. That uh, right over there, it's all lit up. And the car doesn't like pull right or left on you. So if you're like in the outside view and you're straight, you just give it gas. Like it's holding really well. Kind of similar to how uh, driving is in Roblox, you know, how it just doesn't like move around too much on you while you're going down the road. So I do like that. Um, do we have to curb this? I think we do. <laughs> I think we have to curb it. There we go. Bye -bye. Yep. Bye bye. Have a nice day. All right, we need to go pick up Jacob here. So let's get back on the road and turn around. I'm going to go down here to do it. Look at this. I have been here before. This looks familiar. I have seen this in real life. Oh, that is cool. I forget the name of that. So we need to go around the whole roundabout, it looks like, to do this. Yep. They're all using blinkers too, so it's okay. We're just going to stay in the roundabout right here as they are stopping. And we're not going to cut around. Oh, there's more taxi over there. Taxi cabs. Competition. Our competition. I was just talking about taxi because it looks just like a static asset to me. Oh, it's Columbus Monument. Look at that. We can collect it. That's the name of it. All right. They're finally moving here. I don't know why we stopped. Especially this little Mini Cooper right here. Get going, dude. What are you doing? You know what? Screw it. We're going around, y'all. Enough isn't enough. We tried. Oh my God. They just smashed in the back end of that car. And they have their hazards on. Looks like they don't care about insurance information and they're going to continue on. I'm going to get around this guy. He's a danger. He literally just crashed right into that guy and was like, no big deal. Another day in Barcelona. Barcelona. Let's see. Up here on the right. Let's see if we get in trouble for speeding here with a speeding camera. Because you have unlocked the law-abiding perk. Oh, I didn't get in trouble this time because of it. Okay, this is very strange how we have to park out on the sidewalk. So that needs to be fixed. Maybe this is a thing. I don't think it is. How you doing today? I've seen you Hi before. There. Hello again. We had you earlier today. Let's get him on his way, shall we? See if he's talkative and we'll be mean to him. We got some cool stuff up here on the right. Look at that. A whole bike rental area there. And then all of this. It's really nice. Let me know in the uh, comments below if you guys... I'm going to get in the right lane here. If it is a lane. It looks like it is because they're making it happen. Um, well, let me know if uh, you live in this city and how accurate it is. Because it looks pretty darn impressive to me. But I haven't been there in a very long time. Oh, hello. Get over this way. Yep. Over here. What are you doing? I'm getting in this lane now. All right, well, seems simple enough. Yeah, this guy is not talking to us like at all. And they don't seem to be requesting certain temperatures in the car or windows rolled down or anything like that. I think it will be a thing though. I think we go here. Yeah, we do. Thank you for giving us a room. I know it's tough, dude. Let me back up a little bit here. Sorry, it's a tight road. Here we go. Still got a little bit of driving to do. Some pop-in happening there with the textures or the uh, models there. All right, let's start driving a little crazier here and see if he says anything about it. Oh, <laughs> he didn't say a word. He doesn't care. We're doing a hundred. Hold on to your butt. Oh, let's hit these at a at hundred. Oh my God. We're damaging our car. We're doing it for science though. It's red as of now. Yep, that's a red light. Not that that matters. Oh, waves to collect. Are we good? We're green. Let's go. Uh, This way, right? Yep. Around this way we go. Yeah, we're going to start driving like an idiot just for science. Just so we can see what we get. you can and can't get away with. And another green. So let's just give it, give it the goose. <laughs> I know I'm driving like an idiot. I'm doing it on purpose. I need to get out of here this way. He's going to get in that lane. We need to get over as well. 
So we're turning, slamming brakes. Our patience meter is not getting that affected by our terrible driving right now, which is impressive to say the least. All right. Young driver, cover 10 kilometers in a single career. Well, we did that. Slam that brake on, baby. Back it up. See you. See you. He wasn't talkative. Uh, easy link. Did we get in trouble? Let's see the bonus details. Not stopping at red lights. Speed limit brakes. Uh, driving in areas not available for cars. Small collisions and big collisions. There you go. That's what we got on the bonus detail. All right, well, I mean, the game does what it says it does, which is it's a taxi sim, and I like what I see here. Uh, I like the UI, I like the controls. Um, I've been having fun with it so far, so let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.